Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Um, today I've got a problem with my pool and I'm going to show you what I'm going to try to fix it. So the other day I came out here, my pool is green, I'm trying to get it fixed and ready for spring. Still kind of cold today, uh, but I've got a problem with the controller board and you'll see chlorinator off no cell power. Uh, there's a problem that seems to be pretty common on uh, these units. It's, this one is uh, Aqua Plus. A lot of people have found that one of the pins on the back side of a relay on the back of the board, main board has basically uh, the solder joint's gone bad and it's um, fried itself and it needs to be resoldered. I think according to what I've read the, the relays are often good it's just the joint that needs to be fixed let's see what we can do to fix it uh, hopefully save some money first thing I'm going to do is turn the filter off it'll get rid of some of this terrible background noise and there are breakers and I'm just going to shut them all down and I'm also going to unplug the cell and then we need to remove these screws so we can get to the panel. Got my dinky little tool here. One, two, and I will say this too before I go further. If you are not comfortable around electricity, there is high voltage under here, regular house current. You don't want to do this. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I've done a pretty good bit, so I'm okay. I'll still, you know, I still worry about getting shocked, uh, but I'm careful. So be sure you want to do this. And this is all this is. I'm showing you how to do it. Do whatever you do at your own risk. And I guess that's about all I can say. Just be careful, and everything you do on your own is on your own risk. Once you get the three screws, at least on my panel, off this front uh, face plate, you just pull it out. And this is where it starts to get dangerous. Fold it, there's some tabs that stick in down here uh, for the bottom. So just put that to the side. Okay, I wanted to clarify where the hottest areas inside this uh, box are after you remove the panel cover and you uh, flip the breakers to their off position. There's still a live power coming in that feeds these breakers and it is exposed. You can really shock yourself. So uh, this, this uh, terminal right here is where one side comes in. This terminal here is where the other side of the power comes in. And all of this copper uh, here and here is hot so don't touch any of that stuff I wouldn't touch any of the other uh, stuff that's 110 uh, without like an insulated handle or some insulated gloves but um, I just wanted you to see exactly uh, where the most dangerous parts are and that is actually it's right here this is the most dangerous part inside here even with the breakers off that is still hot because that's what feeds power to the breakers uh, after you take the front panel off you've got your breakers off there's still power in here but just not uh, everywhere uh, you pull this panel off and you just pull it right out there's four uh, plastic standoffs that go in the holes the back here and that's all there is to it you can also remove this little header pin thing if you want to move the panel all the way around. So that's all that is. And it's directional. You can't put that back in the wrong way unless you really force it. So we'll leave this control or display on the top. There's a screw here and here. And I believe you take those out and probably just lift it. So let's see what we can do. top all right that was easy so the standoffs are a lot like you'll find on a computer 
uh, back of a computer motherboard. They are just the ones that stick through and they slide down in these little holes that start out big. Uh, you've seen them for hanging all kinds of things. So that's the way that works. And what I was looking for, and sure enough, there it is, is that connector right there. It, if you can see it, and I'm pretty sure you can, I think this camera will focus pretty closely. There is, um, this, the solder joint just doesn't look good anymore as compared to like these other ones. Uh, it's not pretty. And really all we're going to do is heat that up and put a little fresh solder on it maybe and put it back together and see what happens. So I've got my handy grounded uh, um, soldering iron here. Uh, this one's a little bit high temp, but this is a big joint. I'm not worried about it. I've got a smaller one I use for like IC chips and stuff like that. Um, but uh, for this should be fine here. It's also cold outside today uh, down here, so I wanted a little extra heat. I'm going to point you down so you can watch. Okay, that's what I'm going to go with. Now you can see the material is shiny a lot better than it was when it was um, dull. It was when it had kind of been melted and remelted by the joint to where it wasn't very, it just wasn't contacting very well anymore. We've got the joint the way we like it. It looks pretty good actually, all things considering it only took one minute to do it. So now I'll just reassemble this. Get this around, make sure all the, the standoffs are in their little slots, and then just slide it down. And I'm going to just screw this down. Boom. And we'll do the other one. And do it like this. That works better. Alright, so that feels good. Just, just snug down. But, you know, it's not like it's on a car. I'm just holding it. Alright. So now that I've got that in place, uh, I've got to put my display board and control panel back on. Don't forget, you've got to hook the wire up. So I'll go to this header, and if you look, in case you're not familiar with these kind of little headers and connectors, there's two little pieces up here that uh, kind of make it directional, and you'll see on the socket, and this is uh, that where it get, plugs in at, that. There are little notches for these things, so just make sure you have these things on the side that the notches are. That's it. And it'll go in. If it's not going in, they also offset the pins a little bit, so you can't do it backwards. But there you go. Boom. That one had a pretty good click. I'll line up these plastic standoffs with the holes on the back. Do the two bottom ones first. And the top ones. And let's see, snap that one. Somebody mentioned that on theirs too, that they, they broke the little standoff. Um, and, I, you know, after 10 years, this is a piece of plastic. It's, they're going to break. You can probably get another one somewhere, but three of them holds it. It's just fine, really. Um, I'm not going to worry about that. And then, um, just, we need to put the, the face on it, the panel cover, and all we do there is, again, line these, there's three notches on mine, one, two, three slots on the main box, just make sure you get it in the slots, roll it forward, and start screwing your screws in. Started and finish up. Started. Last one. One. 
two, three, we're done. Then make sure to plug your cell back in. I saw one guy, his video, he forgot to do that and it took a minute for him to figure out what's going on. And now all we do is power it back up. And let's hope we get good messages. So Sunday, 116. I don't know what it was when we started. The pool temp, 62 degrees. Air temp, 55. Not super cold. Chlorinator, 65%. Salt level 2300. Like I said, I just added salt and it was green. And the message is gone. So, basically, I have saved myself having to buy a whole board um, for this Aqua Plus unit, which I uh, hear the boards are pretty expensive. All right, that was easy. We got it working and it was a cheap fix. It didn't cost me a penny. I had the things that I needed already in my house. The things I did need, what were they? Soldering iron, simple. You don't have to have a complicated, fancy soldering iron. Socket, just for taking the screws off. The three screws holding the front on. Solder, thin or, heavy, or fairly heavy gauge. It should be for electronics, though, not for, you know, for plumbing or anything like that. So, um, so electrical solder, and that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Have a great day.